Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading White. I'm Marilyn, and tonight we have part two of the gemstone, coral, amber, um, cinnabar um, auction bag. Uh, there will be a part three as we are taking all of the cinnabar and doing just a video on the cinnabar um kind of a small little information uh, just about cinnabar also with those pieces being for sale there is um earrings um necklaces and bracelets let's see earrings yes in that um part three so be sure to stay with us if you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are part-time resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. Um, last night we did part one, and it had an enormous amount of Bakelite and Amber and um, just amazing pieces. Uh, black Coral, if you didn't see that, I'm going to list that up here. So you can go after you're finished with this one and go check that out. We still have the black wood um, bracelets. Um, all three of those, or was that four? All of those are for, still for sale. Those are amazing pieces. Here is what was left. Um, it was the three wood bracelets. Those are $10 a piece, and they are carved black wood. Aren't those amazing? And if you want all three, this one was, I'm surprised this one is still with us. Uh, but it's gorgeous, so it might be in my collection. Um, this is glass. This is still available. The um, Malachite Chip Bracelet. And three of the Black Coral neck, uh, Bracelets or bangle bracelets. This is just amazing. And anything you see is for sale. I'll give you a price. All you have to do is send us an email to one shadyny at gmail.com and we will send you a PayPal invoice. Shipping is $5. Under a pound in the United States, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. Okay, so these are some spectacular pieces. So I'm just gonna jump right into it love these i'm going to start with i'm going to push these out to the side this is a gorgeous isn't it let me see if we have a signature i don't see one so let's go ahead and just test it There's your blue. Love these filigree pieces. So this one can be um, a brooch, okay? And this is an old one. Look at this pen back. Um, so you roll it all the way for it to open. And it's a, can you see how it's double? You can tell when they're older, um, because you get more elaborate in the closures. Also another way to tell is over here. See how flat that back part is. That's letting us know it's older. So this is probably 1920s or 30s. Um, beautiful filigree work. You can also see how it's hanging here. You can hang that on a pendant from that. Do I think that's what they used it for? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it was because this is further up. However, it hangs from there very, very nicely. Gorgeous piece. Love this. It is... Two and three-eighths by... One and a half, one and a quarter, I believe that was. Let's do it again to be sure I'm correct. One, one and a half. 
Um, and you can tell this has been cleaned with a silver cleaner. So just want to really well clean that. Probably I would use a polishing cloth. If somebody's interested in this, wants to clean it up, let me know and I'll include the polishing cloth with it. I'm going to say for this piece, I'm going to do um, $20. Love that. That is some beautiful filigree work. Little container. I'm not going to open this because it has something in there. And I believe it's some type of powder, but this is super old. Um, and it is um, like a stone in here with this filigree and this little top. I'm going to say um, that it's a loose powder that's in there. Might have been a press powder at one time. Um, not sure. So it's one inch, but that is a cool little piece. And it comes apart like right here and you just pull it apart. Um, but when you do, be careful because it's loose powder in there. So, um, oh, let me t show you how wide it is also. Hello, there we go. <laughs> it is one and a half inches. Isn't that nice? So I'm gonna say just $15 for the little, not brass, gold tone, little compact um, trinket powder. So 15. Um, this is just a Brighton, it's called a mini charm bracelet, is, is in the style of, a Pandora, if you push right here, this comes out. Um, so, um, but it also has the lobster clasp with the heart, the Brighton B, and on the other side, it's a Brighton B also. It has a Believe um, charm and also a blue um, rhinestone charm. And on the back side is a cross from the Believe. It is adjustable from a seven inch up to an eight and a quarter. So online, this is $34. So we are going to do, let's do $20 with the two charms. Beautiful. This piece is gorgeous. It is signed on the back. It is 925NA, and it has a number. I believe it is 699 with a star. This was made in Italy, in Naples, um, and it's signed by the artist. And it is sterling silver with a um, pendant and also a brooch back. Isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous piece. It is hand carved. You can see on the side where completely hand carved. Beautiful little chain. It does say CN 925 Italy. It is an 18 inch chain. Gorgeous. Beautiful color. So I'm going to say let's do. Um, I love those marks on there. Let's show you. It's a real cameo. So you can see through it. It is going to be. $45. This one is incredible. This is signed um, 120th 12 karat gold fill. And I cannot read the maker, but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that piece. It has a jagged edge. Um, it is 
a real cameo. I love the um, elongated form of this one. It is one and three eighths by three fourths of an inch. So this one is just stunning. I'm going to say $55 on this piece and it is just a pin back. Just beautiful. These are a beautiful. These are, um, aren't these pretty? Look at those. At first, when I first saw them, I was thinking, oh, okay, these are mini mosaic uh, tiles. Well, it's not. They are Millie Fiori. Uh, look at those. Aren't those beautiful? I'm trying to get them to, okay, let's try one at a time. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a pretty, pretty pair of earrings. They have a one and three eighths inch drop and they are three fourths of an inch across. And they are in reds and blues and greens, just beautiful. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say $25 on these, these are gorgeous. This is stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? This has no missing rhinestones. And this is has a tag. And it says D. And the only thing that I can really figure out from this company is that it started in 1979. And um, it is a German company. Look at this chain. Isn't that gorgeous? I just think this is a, a beautiful necklace. I believe it's brass. It is 18 inches with a two inch drop. Isn't that gorgeous? And th uh, five eighths of an inch across. And this bottom is faceted. Just beautiful. Love this piece. Very um, Victorian reminiscent. Just stunning. So this one I'm going to say $25. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This is, let's be sure. This is brass, and it is a plum agate. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It is a pendant and a brooch, and it, I believe, has had a repair right here because I believe this pen back tells us that this is older. Not only that, but you are extended beyond the pen. So I believe that this is a um, Victorian piece that has had a repair on the clasp on the back. It is also a brooch, um, but look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I think this piece is probably one of the most beautiful in this entire lot, which this lot has been stunning pieces. It is two inches by an inch and five eighths. But y'all know I love Victorian, so just splendid, gorgeous piece. So I'm going to say, look at that plum magnet. Love it. Love, love, love. And oh, let me give you how deep it is. It is a half inch deep. Gorgeous. So I am going to say $65 on the Victorian brooch pendant, plum agate. Stunning, 
favorite. These, aren't these gorgeous? I believe these are Bakelite. This part, I'm not sure about this part. And once again, I can't run it under hot water, so I have to show you with Simichrome. And, um, look, it has, let's see what happens if I do it there. There's your tobacco, yellow. Hmm. Looks like it has some transfer right here of some glitter. You can feel it kind of on your finger, but nothing comes off. So there is the yellow. Now I'm going to do the top part to see if it is. I believe the top part is like a bead. You, it's been drilled. All right, so there's the Simichrome. It's pink. So you wanna rub it on. I still am not 100% that the top part is Bakelite, but this part Definitely is. So let me do it again for you. So there is your, as they call it, a tobacco stain. So I'm going to say I am unsure of the top bead, whether it is fake light or not. However, the bottom part is definitely big light. So are these beautiful? Very, uh, they are screw backs. They are done in a, a brass. They are two inches drop and an inch wide. Are those gorgeous? I love these. So I'm gonna say on these, because I just think they are a beautiful, um, I'm going to say, $40 on these. Aren't this gorgeous? Here we have a brooch. It's got a pen back. Uh, there's your green glow. So it's amber. I'm going to turn off the light. That is crazy how green that is. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why, but that green glow always gets me. So that's beautiful. So let's give you a measurement on this. It is two inches by an inch. By three fourths of an inch. Is that pretty? With this braided trim. So I'm going to say, let's do, looks like it needs to be buffed up right here, but it is coming clean. So I'm going to say, let's do $25 for the amber brooch. These are beautiful and they're screw backs, but they are, um, really old screw backs okay these are not these are pierced ears and they backs screw on and off um, and these are super super old 
and they just screw on. Is that cool? These don't um they don't test as anything, so I'm not sure if they're just little blue beads, but they are beautiful. I believe they are Victorian. They are three fourths of an inch by a half inch. So for the Victorian pierced earrings, I'm going to say let's do $20. Aren't those gorgeous? They're very petite, but beautiful. And this is dirty, it needs to be cleaned. It's a roller back. It is real pearls, made or made, made how do you say it? Made pearls um, with a gold tone um, pen. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. Like I said, needs to be cleaned, but this is so seriously gorgeous. It is two inches by half inch. Um, like I said, this piece needs to be cleaned, but I was able to clean it up enough that I was able to see a signature right here. Let's see if we can get it in there. Still needs to be cleaned up tremendously, but there's the signature right there. Right there. Not that you can make it out that well. Anyway, it says um, Tika, T-E-K-A, um, and it's a German um, jewelry designer, Theodore Klotz, K-L-O-T-Z, registered his trademark Tika in 1939 in Germany. Jewelry designs of this brand include various styles from florals in the 40s to modernist and abstract in the 50s and 60s. Um, so a very good quality um, jewelry designer, and they went out of business in the 70s. So I just wanted to give you a little bit more information. Very cool piece. And I'm gonna say $25 for that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's just stunning. Love that imperfect pearl, remember. Look at these. Are these incredible? I had to, um, well, first off, let's test them. And they're jadeite. Isn't that amazing? Ugh. Let's do another one. There we go. Jadeite. Okay. And they were too big for me to test with my little gauge. So I had to bring out the Mac Daddy gauge. And turn it on. And they are slightly over 20 millimeters. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. These are stunning. There is a cracked one right here. They have some cracks. These are super old toggle clasp. It is not magnetic. It is twenty inches. 
and there is some cracks on that one this one These are gorgeous. However, I do believe it needs to be restrung. As you can see, they're fraying in the silk. Um, considering the fact that it needs to be restrung, I'm going to say, let's do, um, oh, these are so gorgeous. Uh, prices on these with the this big of stones um, is crazy, but I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do $90 on these. Just gorgeous. This piece. It's also jadeite. I believe this is a zodiac sign jade i believe this is supposed to and i could be completely wrong okay but i think this is supposed to be like a rat i'm not 100 percent, and i think this is some type of animal also but i'm guessing completely on the back it just has some feet and maybe i this might be Grapes. I believe this is a um, silk macrame um, choker. It um, measures. Let me do it with the fabric. It measures 17 and a half inches there and then it has an extension of three and a half inches however it is um, on a you know spring wire so that is gorgeous so I'm gonna say let's do for this one I'm gonna say let's do $30 beautiful Now the rest is these amazing coral pieces. Look at these. Look at the branch coral. Look at that, how long the branches are on here. These are super old, hair in there. <laughs> these are super old. Um, these are on an old brass roller clasp, spring clasp. Isn't that amazing with the chips? Then it starts the graduated um, branch coral. Branch coral is supposed to be a good luck. The Victorians saw this as um, extremely good luck and uh, kept evil away. It's 22 inches. So I'm going to say um, $75. This one is crazy huge. Also on a bro brass roller clasp. Look at how big these are. This branch coral is considered white, pink and white. It is 20 inches. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Uh, these are gorgeous. These could be super, super old. Um, considering the rest of the pieces in here, I think these are old. You rarely are seeing this large of branches. So I'm going to say let's do 75 for the white one. And this one is crazy. Look at this. It has the sterling cones. These are also sterling beads with a um, shepherd's hook on each side. So you can take the sterling 
um, extension away if you wanted. These are smaller branch um, coral. It is 17 inches from here to the tips of the cones. However, including the extension with the beads, it is 24 inches. That's a perfect size. Aren't those gorgeous? So I'll do 75 for this one also. Well, there you go. That's what we have for you today for part two. Be sure to come back tomorrow for part three with the Cinnabar. It's going to be all the pieces of Cinnabar that was in this lot, plus um, information on what is Cinnabar and um, the types that we have. So it's going to be interesting. And Barry is helping me with it. So lots of great information. If you saw anything here today, definitely be sure to send us an email to one shadyny at gmail.com. Be sure that you give us a thumbs up. Let us know what your favorite piece is. If you haven't already, subscribe below. If you have, we appreciate it. Um, be sure you know that we appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.